Well, as a result of all of that, it took some of you as much as two hours to get out of Victoria yesterday afternoon. Traffic was a real mess because of the congestion and the backup caused by the sewage accident. Demonstrating yet again the value of a commuter service to the West Shore to get people out of their cars and off the highway. That new baseline ferry service has replaced the Blue Boat and has some people wondering again about the possibility of a sea bus to the West Shore and the eventual arrival of rail or rapid transit. It certainly would have come in handy yesterday. Aaron Glazier reports. It took emergency crews hours to clean up this stinky septic spill on the Old Island Highway yesterday. And while memories of the snarled traffic have trickled away, today alternate modes of transportation were on the minds of local politicians. We cannot rely on one or two modes. We have to look at all the alternatives and water is a perfect one. The idea of a sea bus has already been floated from the Royal Bay project in Colwood, now expected to move ahead after the property changed hands on Tuesday. The development includes plans for more than 2,800 homes and transportation will be key. There's no point putting, you know, 5,000, 10,000 people in an area of development if you don't have ways to move them around. But Victoria Harbour ferry operator Barry Hobbis says the seas surrounding Royal Bay may be too rough. Having said that, I think there are other locations and I think that's up to local politicians to find those places. Hobbis also owns the Baseline ferry that shuttles up to 400 Department of National Defence employees to work every day across the Esquimalt Harbour, a service he says shows the possible demand for a public passenger ferry over a 20 minute maybe a 25 minute run it, it makes a dent you know and every car you take off the road uh, makes a huge impact something bc transit has been saying for years it is expecting recommendations from a crd task force later this month as it moves forward with plans for a rapid transit line between the west shore and downtown We've been looking at ways to bring the cost down because we know there's a little sticker shock associated with it and we're looking at a price tag of uh, around $700 million right now. And thanks to $15 million in both provincial and federal funding coming down the track, the ENN Railway is expected to start rolling up and down Vancouver Island by early 2013. The population of the West Shore is expected to balloon to well over 100,000 people by the end of the decade. So the question is, is having a rapid transit line, the baseline, a passenger ferry and the ENN commuter railway too much? There's multimodal. and so. Who needs their car? From land to rail to sea, the people making the transportation decisions are hoping if they build it, passengers will come. At the same time, giving commuters an alternate route home when it hits the fan. Aaron Glazier, CTV News, Victoria.